We don't need further excavation. No, right, right, right. It's essentially, the arrangement's exactly the same. We're just cutting the... Yeah, shackles. The the, uh, I wrote that, I think, I think it was about 2013, 2012. It was just after my, um, my ex-partner left me, my baby's mom. Decided this is going to be a disco record. It was like how certain things in my life, I suppose, were holding me back. And I think that was about the time, really. I was about 25, 26, something like that. And it was about the time when I just wanted to, like, go around the world and start seeing places, really. And, um... You know, like, because the things that had held me back, obviously, were always, like, family and things like that. Not held me back, but I just didn't want to leave them behind, sort of thing. You know, I thought I'd be, I'd be better off in England just with them. sort of give up the music. I don't know why. I do not know why actually because I didn't think it was really going anywhere but that was the wrong attitude to have. I always, always used to have the silly attitude that things weren't going to happen you know but now like obviously you just got to be positive. Recorded. It was the only song on the album that was totally live. You know, we just set up. We set up a drummer, um, bass player, guitarist, pianist, me, and uh, have recorded it live. And then, and then we ended up with a uh, a twelve-piece orchestra coming along. You know, the, the, the Dakota Symphony Orchestra, and uh, I was blown away. Twelve women, all, all in this fucking. In this little room playing violins and cellos. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, I mean, it's about like willing things to happen and making, making the good decisions in life and not the silly ones, you know, like missed opportunities and things like that, you know, all, all through stupid mistakes. Magic!